Do you all even know how to factor equations that are quadratic? Why would I even care about factoring whatever the hell you just said? It's because if we're able to get an equation into its factor form, like this, we would then easily be able to find the solutions to the equation. Okay, so how do we factor then Obama? So whenever we are starting off with an equation, say this one, for example, you have to immediately check to see if they have any factors in common. All these terms do have a factor in common. It is 3 because 3, 18, and 24 all are the result of 3 times some number. Good job, Joe. So now we factor that out, which basically means to pull the number out of all these terms by dividing all by 3. And now we can factor this easier expression. For this part, the process is as follows. We times the coefficients of the first and third term together. And so whenever we multiply the coefficients of the first and third term, we get 8. So, so now we want to find factors of 8 that add up to the coefficient of our middle term, negative 6. Let's list the factors of 8, 1, and 8. And 2 and 4. So look at 2 and 4, those add up to 6, but we want negative 6. So we want negatives 2 and negative 4, which both still are factors of positive 8 because when multiplied together, become positive. That's right, Joe. Now the reason did that whole process is because we can now rewrite this middle term as the sum of negative 2x and negative 4x. With this, we can now make two groups. These first two terms have a common factor of x. We pull that out by dividing terms by x. Then these next two terms have a common factor of negative 4, which we also pull out. Now look at what we have. We have two numbers that are being multiplied by the same thing, x minus 2. So we can actually factor this same thing out of them. And at last, we now have the factored form of the original equation. 